You see the exercise number 21 from the following income of Mr. Manoj for the previous year ending 31st March 2020. Compute the income from other source. <clears throat> okay. The first point is he won't say mining at Chetra Durga. Uh, he let out it uh, on a uh, royal top piece 10 per ton uh, or raised. Colos raised. 10 rupees the royalty during the year 25,000 tons of ore was raised. So 25,000 into 10 is the total royalty. I think it is 2,50,000. 2,50,000 is the royalty and allowable expense is 1,000. If you deduct 1,000 allowable expense, you will get the income of rupees. Two lakh forty nine thousand. Two lakh forty nine thousand. First point. And second point is he has let out machinery uh, in furniture at rupees three thousand per month. Three thousand is the per month rent on machinery and furniture. So annual rent is, I think it is 36,000. 36,000 is the annual rent. He spent 1,000 repairs and 6,000 for depreciation. Therefore, allowable expense is 7,000. 36,000 minus 7,000 is, uh, net is 29,000. Twenty-nine thousand is the second point income, and he owns a plot of land at Ballari, which is let out for fees one thousand two hundred per month. This is the direct one. One thousand two hundred per month is rent, and annual rent is fourteen thousand four hundred. Fourteen thousand four hundred. He also owns an agriculture land in Pakistan for which he received income of which 29,000. Agriculture land is situated outside India. Therefore, it is taxable 29,000. 29,000 is the taxable income. Then he lives in a rented house paying a rent of rupees 4,000. 4,000 per month rent is paid to the landlord. And the house is subletted. He sublet the 50%. 50% means half. Half of the house is sublet at the rent of rupees 3000. Okay. 3000 is the per month rent. So annual rent is 36,000. I think it is 36,000 is the rent received on subletting. 36,000 is the rent received on subletting. <coughs> Then 4,000 is the rent paid to landlord. So 4,000 into 12, 48,000. 50% of that is 24,000. 4,000 into 12 into 50%. That is 24,000. And uh, 1,000 is the municipal tax. 50% of this is 500. And 1,000 is the repays. 1,000 is repays and 1,000 municipal tax. So 500 is the portion of sublet out relating to municipal tax. 500 is the portion relating to repays, relating to let out. So 24,000 is the rent paid to landlord portion. Plus 500, 500. 25,000 is the total deduction. So if you deduct 25,000, 11,000 is the answer from this uh, E point. 11,000 is income from subletting. Then he received 70,000. He received 70,000 means it is the net one. It is the net amount. Therefore, 70,000 into 100 by 70 you have to take. It is received there. So this value of, value of this is 1 lakh. 
value of this is 1 lakh. Okay, 1 lakh is the value. Then he received a dividend of 10,000 from a company situated in England. So dividend from England company is a foreign company. So it is taxable. So dividend from foreign company is 10,000. 10,000. Okay. Next here is invested. The word is invested. Invested 30,000 in Chennai Port Trust Fund. So 30,000 into 8%. If you calculate 30,000 into 8%, I think it is 2,400. 2,400. Then next investment. Investment 72,000. 72,000 is the investment. 10% is the rate of interest. So 7,200 is the interest. But it is tax-free. It is tax-free, therefore you have to gross up. That is 100 by 90. Therefore, its value is 72,000 into 10 by 90. I think it is 8,000. Okay. If you take the total of these values, you will get the income from other source. The total of this is called as income from other source. Okay. okay, you see the solution. First point royalty received twenty five thousand into ten two lakh fifty thousand. Less allowable expense one thousand. Balance is one lakh two lakh forty nine thousand. Next is machinery and furniture rent three thousand into twelve thirty six thousand. Less allowable expenses. Repays one thousand. Depreciation six thousand. Total is seven thousand. You deduct. Balance is twenty nine thousand. Third point rent on open plot one thousand two hundred into twelve. It is 14,400. Next fourth point, income from agriculture in Pakistan, 29,000 rupees. Okay, 29,000 is the uh, agriculture income in Pakistan. Next is rent from subletting, 3,000 is the per, man, per month rent, 36,000 is total. Less allowable expenses. Rent paid to landlord, 4,000 into 12 into half, 24,000. <laughs> and repay is 1,000 into half, 500. Municipal tax, 1,000 into half, 500. If you deduct this, total 25,000, balance is 11,000. Next is winning from lottery, 70,000 is there. This is received amount. Therefore, you gross off, its, its value will be 1 lakh. Then dividend from foreign company is taxable, 10,000. Interest on Chennai. Four trust bonds, 2,400. I calculated it. Okay. Then interest on tax-free debenture is 72,000 is there. It is tax-free there. So, 10 by 90. So 8,000. Then total you take, total is called as income from other source. Okay, so income from other source is 4,52,800. Clear? Come to the next point, uh, next problem. Compute the income from other source of Mr. Vijay, who had the following investments in the previous year, 1920. In the previous year, 1920. First is 11,000, 10% central government security. 10% is the rate of interest. Investment value. You have to see the value carefully. 
the value given is investment okay investment so 11000 into 10% is 1100 okay 1100 and next is 36000 10% is there 36000 into 10% 3600 but it is tax free it is tax free therefore your to gross of 100 by 90 therefore you take this as 36000 into 10 divided by 90 this answer is 4000 4000 is the second point third point is 7200 is there but it is received word is there interest received 7200 received as interest not investment first two are investments 7200 interest received tax free is there public limited company is there therefore 7200 it is received is there it is net therefore you gross up if you gross up this its value is 8000 its value is 8000 okay next is 8000 received from interest from karnataka state government so it is 8000 is the gross amount you don't gross up it because government uh, interest government interest will not be grossed up and 3600 received interest from mangala for fertilizer mangala fertilizer is a private one therefore you gross up this because there is a word received it is received therefore it is gross up you gross up and its value is 4000 its value is 4000 next is 30000 13.5% security of joy company 13000 30000 is the investment 13.5% is the rate of interest if you calculate interest on this i think it is uh, 3 4,050, 4,050, 30,000 into 13.5%. Next is 35% L1% paper mill. So 35,000 into L1%, 3,850, 3,850. Okay, and 10,000, 15% municipal corporation bonds. If you calculate, its value is 1,500. 1,500. So dividend received from Indian company 5,000. This is exempted from tax. Okay, then during the year, he got a Karnataka state lottery the net amount received is 70,000. It is net is there. The net amount is there. So you gross up this. It is Its value is 1 lakh rupee. 1 lakh. Okay, 1 lakh rupee. You take the total of all these values. The total of these value is called as gross income from other source and uh, you see here one more adjustment 70000 is the lottery price received on which bank charges 200 collection remember this 200 collection charge is not allowable collection charge relating to interest on investment is allowable collection charges on interest on investment is allowable, but not on casual incomes. Casual income expenses are not allowed. Remember this point. So 200 rupees is not allowed. This 200 rupees is not allowed. Okay. So you take the total, that total itself is the income from other source. Income from other source, there is no deduction. You see next question, example number 23. 
from the following uh, particulars of sri praveen a member of parliament compute his income from other source okay he is a member of parliament you are asked to calculate income from other source the first point is salary received as a member of parliament 30000 per month so 30000 is the salary per month then annual salary is 30000 into 12 this is 36000 first point is 360000 not 36000 36 60000 360000 is the first point then winning from lot uh, crossword puzzle is there net amount is there you gross up this its value will be 20000 14000 into 100 by 70 it is gross then winning from karnataka state lottery 70000 is there this is also net this is also net you gross up this its value is 1 lakh its value is 1 lakh 1 lakh rupee okay then a credit in his passbook the source for which cannot be explained rupees 1 lakh 1 lakh rupee credit in the passbook is there that uh, 1 lakh rupee credit explanation is not given by the SRC. So this is called as income from undisclosed source. Income from undisclosed source is 1 lakh rupee. One lakh rupee. Then gift from friend is there 49,000. This is exempted from tax because it is less than 50,000. Okay, 50,000. This point will not come. Then interest on post office, national saving certificate, 12 years is there. This is also exempt from tax. Okay, then received, rent received on letting the building along with plant is 50,000. Okay, 50,000 is the gross rent. In the gross rent, allowable depreciation, 1,200. Machinery insurance one thousand, repairs four thousand. Totally you deduct six thousand two hundred. You deduct six thousand two hundred. You deduct six thousand two hundred. Then remaining income is uh, forty three thousand eight hundred. Forty three thousand. 800 is the income from subletting income from letting the building with plant and machinery okay royalty received on article in the uh, special journal 42000 is there this 42000 is taxable 42000 okay 42000 is h point then 50000 10% debentures of reliance limited if you calculate 10% on this, its value is 5,000. Interest is 5,000. Okay. 9,000 received interest is there. Interest received 9,000 is there. And this is tax free is also there. So if you grasp this amount, its value is 10,000. Its value is 10,000. Okay. When you take the total of all these value, the total of all the amount is called as income from other source income from other source clear you see the next example example number 24 Example number 24, from the following information furnished by Mr. Agustin. Agustin, compute his income from other source for the previous uh, assessment year 2021. 20, okay. You see the first point. The first point is dividend from Indian company. This is exempted from tax. First point is exempted. 
second is income from writing articles in magazine 4000 so this 4000 is taxable second point 4000 okay third point he is uh, living in a rented house paying a rent of 6000 to landlord rent paid to landlord is 6000 per month and the house is too big uh, house is too big he has sublet one third portion okay one third portion at a rent of is 3000 3000 is the rent per month so 36000 is the gross rent per year gross rent received 36000 per year and uh, <clears throat> allowable expenses are one is rent paid to landlord 6000 into 12 into 1 by 3 i think 24000 24000 is the rent paid to landlord portion okay landlord rent paid to landlord portion is 24000 and uh, municipal tax 1500 is there one third of this is 500 municipal tax is 500 the next is Repays two thousand seven hundred is there. Two thousand seven hundred into one by three, that is nine uh, hundred. Okay, so twenty four plus nine, twenty four thousand plus five hundred plus nine hundred. I think twenty five thousand four hundred. If you deduct twenty five thousand four hundred, your answer is ten thousand six hundred. You check this. Ten thousand six hundred is the rent received on subletting. Okay. Next, he received rupees ten thousand interest on term deposit. Interest on term deposit ten thousand is taxable. Ten thousand. <laughs> he earned winning from lottery. Fifteen thousand winning from lottery is here. You see this, winning from lottery is there. Earned winning from lottery fifteen thousand. So earning is given, not received amount. Earning means total income. Winning is there. Net is not in the problem. So fifteen thousand is the gross, and winning from chess three thousand total. Uh, Income from the E point is eighteen thousand. Fifteen thousand plus three thousand, eighteen thousand. Okay. Then he received one twelve thousand one fifty interest. Received is here. Received word is there. Therefore, you have to gross up this. If you gross up this, I think it is. Thirteen thousand five hundred. His answer is thirteen thousand five hundred. If you calculate gross up, twelve thousand one fifty into hundred divided by ninety. Then received next is there two thousand seven hundred. Uh, interest tax free is there, so you compulsory gross up it. His answer is three thousand. Two thousand seven hundred into hundred divided by ninety. Okay, interest on government of England won five thousand. It is taken directly. It is to be taken directly five thousand rupees. Then interest on post office SB is exempted. Interest on central government security is nine thousand. Nine thousand is taxable. Okay, nine thousand is taxable. Then he received five hundred per lecture. Twenty lectures delivered, so total it five hundred into twenty. I think it is ten thousand. Check this amount: ten thousand or one thousand. Okay. Then income from undisclosed source is fifty thousand. You take fifty thousand rupee income from undisclosed source. Yes. Yeah. Then two hundred is the collection charge paid on interest. This is allowable deduction under section fifty seven. 
you take all the totals, then you deduct 200 rupee. If you deduct 200 rupee, whatever balance comes, that is the income from other source. 